Hello everybody and welcome back to the Let's Play of the Campaign of the Railroad Tycoon 3. Uh, I am playing on hard and I am aware that it's been a while since I've done this, uh, but we're back for part 11. Uh, it's in Argentina. Uh, so we've completed America and we've completed Europe. Uh, we're now in what the game calls World, which is basically anywhere that isn't America or Europe. Uh, and there's three of these, there's Argentina and then uh, Roads Unfinished, which is in Africa, East Africa specifically, so it's got Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, and Sudan. Um, and then, which you'll see in the next video in this playlist, whenever that gets uploaded. Then there's Japan, and then there's uh, the future scenarios, of which there are three. Uh, there's Greenland, Futuristic Europe, and Futuristic California. But anyway, we're in uh, Argentina at the moment. It is 1880, and basically, I just rotated the map the wrong way around. Basically, uh, we have not the whole of, but part of Argentina uh, to play in, and General Julio A. Roca, probably mispronounced that has created an environment perfect for an exceptional tycoon. You have been chosen by the general to provide the railway system to spur on the growth of the country. Fail and the country will wither and stagnate. So, yes, yeah, so it's 1880. Um, we're in a period of mass expansion into Argentina um, because the, as the old man said, which wasn't recorded for reasons that I've already said um, in the past few years, due to resolution and crashing issues, um, in the Pampas region in Argentina, which is a big region in the west, uh, there were too many natives and they simply couldn't expand there, so there's not a lot of settlements there, or weren't, and long story short, they killed all the natives and managed to expand. Um, and so we have to basically just build up the Argentine economy between 1880 and the beginning of 1910, so we've got 30 years. Uh, we are obviously looking at gold, so for gold we need 350 loads of meat, 200 loads of wool, 100 loads of grain, and industry profits 25 million or greater. So interestingly, it's not like you must connect here to here. You can start wherever you want, because we can actually build on connected track. Um, and it's not like you must connect this certain number of cities, or you must connect A to B. Um, or haul. It's it's all about hauling and making industry profits, and thankfully we don't have to worry about personal net worth. So this shouldn't be too difficult, provided the economy is okay and we can actually get meat, wool, and grain. Meat obviously being the main thing, um, but it shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, 350 loads in 30 years is. 11.7 loads per year. So it's not actually that bad. But we don't know how much meat there is. Could always go with my Russia technique of just spam trains. Anyway, no buying and selling of stock. Well, that's not too big of an issue because we don't have to worry about personal net worth. No resigning as chairman. That's fine. May not start more than one company. That's fine. You must cha not change the dividend. That's fine. Uh, you cannot declare bankruptcy. That's fine. So, nothing massively difficult. As the newly appointed Minister of Transportation, it's your job to improve the infrastructure. Your current lineup of locomotives is rather weak. That's because we don't have any American or European. We just have Europe. Um, what the game considers world locomotives, such as uh, like the Consolidation, which is itself a really good locomotive, but. Uh, you can partner up with the French, American, or British investors, but not all three at this time. French will bring a Crampton, which I'm going to say right now. Crampton is good when it was new, which was 25 years ago. Americans will bring the eight-wheeler, which is actually really good, and it's also uh, not available until 1892, so that's very good. And the British will bring the Sterling. The Sterling's good, but again, it's a bit dated for the time. 
because I think it comes available in 1860... No, 1870? I think so, something like that. You'll be contacted by the negotiators soon. Okay, so, first things first, let's look at uh, meat, wool and grain. So, there's a bit of wool lying around, but not a whole lot. Uh, admittedly, it's a port here, demanding meat, wool and grain, as you'd expect. Um, there's sheep farms, but no kind of bulk. Problem is as well, um, as you'd expect, a lot of it is kind of in this western region, and the problem is, I mean, you can't see it on the borders, but if you expand or build any railway, I think it's past this river, so kind of, well, definitely Santa Isabel, it's called, well, the game classifies it as the Pampas region, and therefore um, it's been unpacified, i.e., not been exterminated, which means that the game uh, the game treats it as like an event, as an actual event in the game, whereby you have to pay for uh, the government to send troops to protect you so that the natives don't destroy your railroad. Uh, and since I'm probably going to expand there anyway, you'll see that. Um, Interestingly, there are only two countries, Argentina and Uruguay. We can pay a million to get into Uruguay, but to be honest, we're probably not going to need that. Because Argentina's big enough as it is. Uh, although, may do eventually, because there are some cities, but there's not really a lot of cargo. A lot of cargo lying around over here. I'm thinking, yeah, livestock. So, meat is, well, it's definitely, it's produced around here, and around here, and here. Uh, but where the livestock actually is, mm, it's sort of all over the place. Very high price for it. Um, what we could do is actually start by buying industry, rather than actual railroads. Uh, and the grain is not a whole lot. It's sort of just all over the place. Hmm. But yeah, what we could do is actually start by buying industry rather than actual uh, railroads. That said, I kind of want to build a railroad. Rosario looks quite promising. There's a meat plant there that obviously produces meat. Uh, unfortunately, it's a distillery, not an actual um, brewery, because then it would demand grain. Kind of annoying. Um, right, I think if we build in Rosario, that'd be a good bet. Um, where is the livestock coming from into Rosario? Because, I mean, there's a meat plant over here that's also very profitable. It's too expensive to buy. Oh, that's interesting. I can't issue stock. I can't buy back stock. Well, we don't need to buy back stock anyway, because... Um... We're not worried about net worth. We can't buy and sell shares, so we can't do anything with that, but we don't need to. Not being able to issue stock is a bit of an issue, because that means money. Um, we can't change the dividend, but that's not an issue. Interestingly, the share price starts at $147. Um, but yeah, share prices are relevant in this particular scenario. I'm still wondering what we actually do to start. Because there's a load of, well, some meat over here, but where do we ship it to? Hmm. 
I do think starting in Rosaria would be a good idea. Also, I apologise for taking quite a while to actually decide what to do. Ah. I like how that's kind of like a dual city. I mean, could we get it in one station? Ye almost. I mean, I could, but it wouldn't really work. Oh, this is... This is being very annoying. I can't think what to do. I'm not going to buy industry. I think I'm just going to build a station in Rosario and just see how that goes. Aha! The foreign negotiators have arrived, conveniently, as soon as I build the station. They all have skills they wish to offer besides the locomotives. The French will show you how to lay track for 20% less than normal. That would be useful. But the Crampton's shit. Americans will teach you how to buy and build industry 25% cheaper, which, combined with the 8-wheeler, we're going to pick that. British offer the Sterling, which is good, but not good enough. Improved station loading times by 30%. Good, but not great. Improved locomotive fuel costs by 25%. I'm hoping they mean, like, make it cheaper, because improving the cost makes it sound like it's more expensive. Think about it. Well, I already know we're going to go with the Americans. So, we've been given cheaper industry. Uh, which is nice. So yeah, it, industries have been made cheaper by about 20%. I don't think it's exact. Probably due to like rounding issues. Or maybe they just want to make the numbers nicer. I don't know. Um, I know it's 25%. Um, so immediately we have a shitload of um, livestock and a load of meat, which we can ship over to places. So there's a load of grain. Some, well, not a load, but some grain. Um, there's no real supply though. Makes me laugh that there's a town called Bovril because Bovril is. Um, I'm not entirely sure what it's used for, but it's it's a company, and they they do um, I don't really know what it is actually. I should, I should probably check that, but their slogan is that it prevents that sinking feeling. So I'm guessing it's some kind of it's like an old-fashioned product, but I don't actually know what it is. Um, but yeah, I just find it funny how there's a town called Bovril. Anyway, I think the best bet is probably to connect over to Pergamino. Probably mispronouncing that, but hey-ho, I mispronounce a lot of things. If you want to watch me mispronounce things, go check out my Russian playlist. Where you have town names such as, whoops, town names such as Nishnai Novgorod and uh, Shuzhinsk. To name a few. Uh, Pergamino doesn't actually have anything to offer us, which is a bit annoying. But it does demand some stuff. I think we might actually just go the consolidation. No, let's go go with the eight wheeler. It's faster and it's better overall and it's cheaper to maintain, but it's more expensive to buy. Yeah, let's just do that. And immediately we're getting some meat being hauled around. It's obviously very nice. Now we're not gonna make a whole lot of money just doing this. I need somewhere where we can actually get 
the livestock from, which would be La Plata, which is a bit of a concern because there's a meat plant there already. So we don't really want to... I mean... We don't ideally want to be shipping livestock away from a profitable meat plant to another meat plant. Yeah, you see it's not hauling anything. But if we don't have a choice, then... We might have to. No, it's not hauling anything anymore. Uh, that's because... Ah! We can ship the meat. But the meat prices have stabilised, that's an issue. In fact, the meat's actually cheaper now in Pergamino. No, it's the same price. But what we can do is ship it over to Carmen de Arejo. Again, I'm probably mispronouncing that. I don't entirely care. I apologise if you are Argentinian. Or just anything that speaks Spanish. So what I can do is actually... Um... Do that, but then that station gets ignored. Which is a bit of an issue. Actually. Yeah, that works. So it's not making a whoops. It's not making it's not making a, a huge profit, but it is making some. Irrelevant. We are pleased with the performance, though. That shit is always nice. Um. I should put on a dining car. Get some money from passengers and mail. Well, not mail, but money from passengers. Um. Right. I want somewhere where we can ship this meat, because obviously that's our objective. And there's a lot lying around. Where can we... Well, we need livestock, but we also need to ship the meat around. I could just take out a load of bonds. It's expensive, but... Uh, I mean... Hmm. We can ship, possibly ship stuff. Just. Get it over either to Buenos Aires. Or here. And then I think we'll start making a bit more cash. Not though. That's very good, actually. Because then we can run a second train from there to there. And that interestingly delivers meat. It also delivers produce and grain. The produce thing gets turned into alcohol, which we can then ship back over. And then have another train that's a very long distance train, but it ships meat over, which is interesting because you're shipping meat from somewhere with a packing plant to somewhere with a packing plant, so.
I guess we could put a dining car on that train, but there's not. I, I don't think it'd be worth it. And now we're actually starting to make more. Well, we're not at the moment, but should start to make a bit more cash and uh, work on these goals. Also, eventually we're going to need to start buying some industry. But this is probably going to be another one of those slow start, fast ending, where it's like at the start you're making basically nothing, but at the end you're going to be making a fortune. Which, to be fair, I think applies to most scenarios. <laughs> I don't remember this scenario being particularly difficult, but it's been a long time since I've played the scenario, so uh, only time will tell. We are going to need these, obviously. Before I forget. Yeah, actually, I think we can put a dining car on that train. So. They're only somewhat pleased with us, but they still increased the salary. Um, did make a lot more money. But then we also have a lot more expenses because... Well, we're a bigger company. Where? Hmm. I think the problem is, is that these trains simply have to go too far. Okay, the shade's available, but that's going to be useless. Because it's a very flat map. Um, and the shade is very slow. The shade is good for mountains. And what we want, or what we have rather, is um, not densely populated, very flat. Lot of cities very far away, so it's not ideal. Um, okay, so far this isn't going brilliantly, if I'm honest. Uh, hoping that things will pick up. In fact, we're not actually making any money. Oh dear. They're not hauling much. Try and work out what I can do because we're not making any money. We just made a massive loss. Yeah, you know, these two trains aren't making that much. In fact, I won't actually let me issue a bond. Well. I may be screwed. If I can't issue bonds, I can't issue stock, and the company itself isn't making cash, then... What do I do? What do I do? Yeah, balls. Is 
still also need to haul some wool around. Um, should have probably gone with industry in that case. Now the company's making a bit of cash now. It's not much. W what do you want me to do? Like, this grain, where can we haul it? Oh, where's it coming from, rather? Carmen de Arajo. Okay. Buenos. Ah, some wool that's just appeared, but we can't ship it to or from anywhere. I'm just getting more trains because I can. Hoping that that'll improve profits. Do we have a La, Do we have a La Plata Buenos train? We don't. That could be interesting. Okay, we're seeing, we're making more more money now. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened exactly, but trains just seem to be making more cash, even with all my uh, bonding around. That is to say, me buying bonds, because I'm not making any friends in this game, so I'm not bonding in the literal sense. Bonding in the sense that I'm just taking out a shitload of bonds. Financing, as it were. Financing the uh, structure of this company, which is actually now doing well. Uh, but we still need to start thinking about hauling wool. Okay, the grain shipments won't be an issue. Or at least it doesn't look like they will be. Because obviously these will exponentially grow as the company grows we start hauling more per year. Um, but we do need to start thinking about hauling some wool, but where can we haul the wool to or from? I don't know. Big demand over here in Lincoln. But where is there a profitable supply chain? Light profit over there, but not enough. Um, but I do think we need to buy some industry because we need 25 million in industry profit, which, yeah, it's not huge, but um, we don't want to be caught off guard. Okay, I do think, though, maybe building a brewery in Buenos wouldn't be a bad idea, if that's actually an option. Oh, it isn't. So breweries don't exist in this game. Well, then why the hell do they need a load of grain? Who demands grain other than ports? That seems a bit flawed. Ports and houses and bakeries. Damn. Okay. In that case, uh, we won't build a brewery. Uh, 
instead... There's just not enough stuff flying around. And there, well, there is, but it's just all over the place. Which is why they need a railway, but... I'm sure we've got one there. I think we... I should... I think I might actually just make this... Like, yeah, just that. And then make Pergamino. Rosario train, because I think we've got a Pergamino Buenos train. Yeah, we do. So, that works. So, we're actually making... We're actually making a lot of cash now. I don't know why I keep clicking on that. I guess it's just a force of habit because I'm so used to having to deal with like shares and net worth. Okay, let's start doubling up some of the track to fix traffic, which is obviously going to be an issue. Um, God, that traffic is really, really bad. Apparently. I mean, there's only one train there now, but apparently it's really bad. Uh, there's a shitload of meat. Missouri to Buenos. I need somewhere where we can ship this bloody wool. Where's it coming from? It seems to be just coming from here, which is a bit unusual. Um. Right, I, I, I do think that we need to build an industry or buy one. That's starting to make cash. Why? Where's the lumber coming from? Hmm. How much is a meat plant? 1775. I could just build another meat plant. Do that. That's incredible. It's just a shame that it makes absolutely no difference. Holy crap, we made a lot of money last year. I knew we made a lot, but I didn't realise it was that much. Okay, we need livestock. Well, good thing there's a shitload of it, but... Um... So this should start making cash. That's too expensive to buy. That is too expensive to buy. But that's doing really well. Well, it's doing well. Um, so I think we want a distillery here as well, which would be a million. But where are we going to get the? Where do we get the produce from? Good question. And isn't there a meat plant? Yeah, there's a meat plant here. So we could expand over to there. Ah, I keep clicking that. Okay, we're not doing... We're not doing so good anymore. Trains aren't making as much cash. Okay, bronze is really easy. All you have to do for bronze is a hundred loads of meat, and we're already basically... Well, we've already nearly done that, so... Bronze is really easy. Silver... is a lot harder than bronze.
Um, but it shouldn't be too difficult. As long as we can start getting this wool. Hmm, they're fine. But yeah, last year wasn't so good. Okay, that's going to need an upgrade. But I do want the distillery. Why is it not delivering any meat? Is that... That literally makes no sense. There's a, de there's a price... It would be profitable, and there's a demand... ...in Buenos for meat, but you don't want to haul any meat. Why? That doesn't make any sense. There was meat when I got that train. And La Plata. Doesn't make any sense. I don't know. This one's hauling meat and alcohol. Uh, we are going to need, however, well, some kind of expansion. Um, probably more industries as well. Shame we can't build any like sheep farms or anything. Because obviously that'd be really useful. Get a bit of grain flying about. Uh, I'm gonna need a water tower and a maintenance depot. Uh, whoops. I don't know what to do about this wool, or just industry in general. Also, the, prob the problem of the fact that prices are evening out, so things aren't becoming as profitable as they once were. I don't know what to do about that. Not really a lot I can do, I guess. That's really profitable. Just a shame it's too expensive. A lot of grain over there. I 
do still need wool. Uh, okay, grain isn't an issue. Meat and wool and industry profit. This train isn't really doing a lot. Might have to get rid of it. Well, I guess we can keep it, as long as it's profitable. Okay, we do have a lot of cash, but I don't know what to do with it. Because... Ah. If I get rid of that water tower... I can't upgrade to large. Okay, if I just get rid of this station, place it with a large, and reroute my trains... Because there's a meat plant there now. So this could actually become quite useful, because there's a lot of stuff lying around. Oh well. At least we're making a lot of cash. Right. So profitability isn't an issue. Didn't think it would be. What is an issue? is industry profit and wool. Like, seriously, I don't know what I'm going to do about this. A whole load of wool lying around here, but where can we ship it to? Ah! If I could get a train between Santa Isabel and New Quinn, probably mispronounced that, that would be massively profitable. But, it's quite a long way. Or Santa Isabel to... Bahia Blanca. There's an idea. But again, that's a long way. Um, and we would have to pay the troop protection charge. No, that's an issue, because I think it's only 100,000 a year. Or 50,000 or... 150,000. Um, which we could afford. So, do that eventually, but for now, I think we just possibly... Do we buy farms, or do we buy big industries? Hello. This looks promising. If we can supply that with a good amount of produce. no supply. Oh well. Let's just run a train to and from there.
We are making a lot of cash, which is very good. But we do need more industry profits. We used 10 years, we've got 20 left. Um, meat and wool may be an issue. Industry profit could be an issue. Grain is fine. The problem is there's no supply and there's no demand for any wool. Like. Also, meat is a bit weird. I thought I thought meat would be a bit ish, easier to ship than it is. Ah! Santa Teresita. Which is the new city, so... Just get a load of trains and copy that. Copy it again, actually. There we go. Double upload the track. Electric plants appeared in Buenos Aires for the first time. That is irrelevant. We're not interested. Really? Sorry. Right, I do need industries. Hmm. Question is, what do I buy? Besides just a load of meat plants. Growing prosperity, that's very nice. That is doing really good. And what I'm going to do is actually buy a distillery over here. Yeah, profitability is not an issue. Oh, we've hauled a load of wool. That's interesting. Where from and where to? Guessing from Buenos. But where to? Well, maybe it's to Buenos from somewhere, but I can't think where. I'm going to save the game, actually. Okay, I don't think industry profit will be too much of an issue anymore. Because um, this meat plant's making a fortune. And we can always just buy other meat plants as well. Whoa, crap. Good thing I remembered where that was going to and from. <sighs> right. Could buy another meat plant in Rosario. Or another distillery, maybe? Actually, we've already got one, so... I think another meat plant would be quite okay. Uh, okay. Whoops. Just 
a bit more, a bit more. Come on. Okay. That's now three meat plants in the city. That's ridiculous. Where's all this livestock even coming from? It's a bit unusual, to be honest. Uh, distillery is fine as it is. It doesn't need upgrading. Meat plant's doing fine. This one's doing fine as well. Really wish I could build like a... Really wish I could build a brewery or something. Um. Oh wow. So we've actually done the grain. We've actually almost done the meat. But we need 200 loads of wool. That's a lot of wool. We still need a lot of industry profit. Where am I going to get this from? I might have to do that. Just big long train. From there to there. It's going to be expensive. Okay, I think that'll do. You know what, let's go for the stone bridge. Because why not? Okay, where are we actually hauling this to? Lincoln. Okay. Good thing we can build an unconnected track. Okay, that's bad. Okay. Right. Though officially a piece, the Diaguita and Guirani natives have on occasion looted trains in the Pampas region. You could keep this from happening by paying for federal troops each year. Yes, yeah, so it's $150,000 $150, a year. Every year. But we obviously gonna, we're obviously going to say yes, because otherwise it's going to destroy the railroad. Uh, I know that for a fact. Um, right, the problem is, is that's a shit long way. But there is a lot of meat, and there's a lot of wool. Um, I guess we could build stations here, but it's not essential. I'll do. And then just build a big long train. Whoa, that makes a fortune. But the problem is, is it won't actually make that much because it's got to go a shit long way. That is a lot of meat. Meat wasn't even my first priority as well. Just keep copying that train. Damn. And we're run, we'll run out of money. But damn, when they get there. It's going to be a fortune. And the good thing is, is the 8 wheel is, eight -wheel is really quick. And it's good for this sort of thing. Like, long, 
It's not for, it's not good on hills, which is weird. But flat land, long distance, all freight. Money, money, money. Alright. Now the problem is it's not going to haul anything back, but not a massive issue, to be honest. And for $150,000 a year, well, phew. Can't exactly complain. Uh, but what I can do is actually, well, I was going to say buy one of these, but they're all really expensive. Actually, that one isn't. It's cheaper than it would be to build our own, so... Could buy that one as well, possibly. The thing is, we can always sell... Well, I don't want to sell it, because if you sell it... It counts as negative industry profit. So if I sell it for two million, that's minus two million industry profit I've got to make back. Although that said, we are doing pretty well now. Things are starting to look up. New locomotive is available. It's the eight wheeler that we've been using all this time. It's finally become available. See, if we're going with the, Brit if we're going with the uh, Americans, sorry, British or the French, we wouldn't have the eight-wheeler, which is a brilliant locomotive for this mission. We wouldn't have the cheap industry. Um, and we'd only now be using the eight-wheeler. I mean, yeah, the cheap French track is good, but the Crampton's just... Awful. For this. If we were playing when the Crampton was new, I'd be using it, obviously, but... It's nothing wrong with it as a locomotive, it's just... For this, it'd be too slow and bad. Just not good enough. And we're making a fortune. How are we doing for industry profits? So, this distillery is not doing too good, but it's doing okay. Uh, meat plant, fine. This distillery, fine. Uh, this meat plant is going to want upgrading. Uh, hang on. Fine, 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 fine. Gonna want to upgrade that meat plant. But in terms of actual income, last year in industry we made 1.3 million. And we're gonna make more this year because we just upgraded. I hope. Um. So 1.3 million. Uh, we still need. About 18-ish million. So at the rate we're going, it'll be about 10 years before we do it. That's fine. We still need 180 loads of wool. Uh, which is a lot. We've done the meat and the grain, so we just need wool and industry profit, which I reckon we can handle that. Now the problem is, is the wool isn't going to be that profitable anymore, so we can start shipping it over to Buenos Aires, uh, ideally. In fact, yeah, this. This train isn't actually hauling anything anymore, so we may want to get rid of it. I 
Or we could build a station over here. Is there actually anything... Whoa, there's a shitload of stuff in General Pico. What is it? Lumber. Okay, let's do... Uh, just a shitload of logs. Bloody hell. But we can't ship it anywhere. Well, we can ship it to Santa Isabel or Lincoln. So let's get a few trains doing like that. And Victorica basically has nothing. Um, they're annoyed with me, even though we still meet 1.9 million and we're in a recession. And we made one and a quarter million in industry. Do we need to increase the wool haulage, though? In fact, where is the wool going? Where is... It's just all sitting in Lincoln. That's an issue. Yeah, we definitely need to get it over to Buenos. Okay, let's do that. I am aware that I'm taking out a lot of loans. But if we make money, then it's okay, in my opinion. My flawed opinion, but it's my opinion nonetheless. Okay. This seems to be working so far, at least. Right, get the wall going. That's better. Economy crashes into depression. Well, isn't that just fantastic? Actually, it's about 8.8%. That's actually a pretty good interest rate, considering. I mean, we do have some pretty nasty loans, but it kind of balances out, so... Um, all things considered, we're actually doing quite okay. Some of these trains are a bit unprofitable, but I think we should probably just keep them anyway. Um, and we could keep expanding, but I'm kind of thinking, where would we and why? Because all we need now is just wool to be shipped all over the place. And yeah, I think build. Yeah, they're still going to be miserable at me. As long as they don't fire me, then I don't really give a shit. I mean, because I'm not interested in net worth. Salary is not important. So do what you like. Uh, I definitely want to increase the size of this station, though. Don't know why I didn't do that earlier. May as well just increase all these to larges. That's actually still okay as a medium. 
How are these industries doing? This distillery is not doing so good. Should sell it. In fact, yeah, let's sell it. Uh, move from depression to recession. That's good. I think we're doing just fine, to be honest. All my industries are doing really good. Um, Didn't make that much money that year. Um, uh, is it because we sold the industry? Or was it just not a good year? I don't know. Do need more wool. Uh, I'm going to ignore that. One and a half million. We are going to meet the industry goal if we carry on as we are. But the wool goal might be a bit of an issue. Santa Isabel to Buenos is way too far. General Pico to Santa Isabel, that's an issue. That could be a possibility. Uh, alternatively, connect over to Nuquen. Or here, actually. Bahia Blanca. Hmm. Yeah, that works. Uh. Okay, where am I taking this track? Are there any of these cities of any potential you wow that's doing really well could buy that I'm gonna buy it and then we're gonna need lots of cash Should probably get rid of that train. It's not doing very well, but hey ho, I'm gonna keep it. I feel like the wrong damn place. Normal forecast economic growth. That is very good. Okay, we're past the 10 million mark. But we do still need a lot more wool.
Um, wool, 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 wool. Uh, Buenos Santa Isabel, but it's barely profitable. It, there's a lot of it, but it doesn't make any money. Also, just say, hey, nothing but wool, and then on the way back, just anything. Yeah, that works. Don't make any money, but works. What the fuck? I don't want that. Okay, that, that works. Economy in prosperity, so now making a lot of cash. And they're back to being pleased with us. Uh, industry profits doing good. the oil refinery. Shitload of oil. Everything's going well, which is very good. Um, do still need more wool. In fact, yeah, we need we need like a hundred and forty loads of wool, hundred and thirty four loads of wool, and we only have eleven years. So that's um, 12 loads a year. Uh, we need to also double our industry profit, which I think we can do. 2 million last year in industry. Yeah, I think we we're okay for industry. We can always buy more, obviously, but. What did I say? Oh, boom times. Excellent. Uh, we don't actually have enough. Now we do. Okay, wool, 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 where is the wool? Okay, that's, that's bad. The Santa Isabel wool line is no longer, but it is still slightly profitable. Um, census building in Buenos. Oh my god. Profit is insane. Wow. That industry profit. The oil refinery is just doing really good. Okay, why not upgrade that? Oh, 
upgrade this distillery. Wow. That is really good. Nah, that's a bit of an issue. I mean, obviously it's expected, it happens all the time, but it just means that the train is now goes slower. Damn. Okay, we've got ten years for about seven million in industry profit and 118 loads of wool. I think we've, we've done it, it's just... We need to hurry up. Get another wool train. And may as well get another one, actually. And one last one, actually. Oh, apparently there's no wool. Or it's just not profitable. What is interesting is that if I haul something from like A to B and then from miraculously manage to haul it back from B to A, that actually counts as two loads, even though it's like the same thing. It's a bit weird. I can get a, medium, a big station. Doesn't really help a lot, but big stations are always good. Didn't make as much money that year, but 4.6 million. Can't exactly complain. And the industry profit, my goodness. Industry profit's not an issue. Wool is sort of an issue. But not massively. Just keep getting designated wool trains. They're barely making any money, but they satisfy the goal and that's all that counts. There we go. Look at all that wool. Well, it's not all wool, but a lot of wool. That's the point. In fact, these trains aren't even profitable. I really should just get rid of them. Damn, just missed it. Interesting that we're actually getting a lot of passengers moving about. I mean, we're getting a lot of freight, but just the sheer number of passengers as well. It's a bit interesting. Okay, basically done the industry goal. Just need to worry about um, wool. And we've actually s doubled the meat goal and nearly tripled the grain goal. So, it's just wool that's being a bit of a bitch. 
Seriously, we make 3.667 million and you're going to cut my salary. In fact, actually, how come we didn't make that much money? It wasn't the industry. No, the overhead overhead does increase, actually. That's an issue. It stops you, kind of. Because the overhead is based upon like how much money you're making. It kind of stops the company from just becoming ridiculously profitable. Even if you own... Own? Even if you connect to every city. Um, there's a limit to how much profit you can make because the overhead just becomes insane. That and obviously like track and engine and station and um, facility maintenance. What is interesting is the fact that we don't actually have that much track. We've only got 1,200 miles and we haven't really connected. I mean, we haven't built anywhere here. Or in the north. It's, a, it's actually a really unexpansive network, to be honest. Although Buenos Aires is huge. Yeah, train crash. Doesn't look like it was a massively profitable train to begin with. Yeah, we've got this. We've we've done this. Uh, just keep dishing out the wool. The amount of unprofitable trains that I have is pretty ridiculous. And the reason being obviously because they're specialised trains. Um. Right, yeah, so we, we've done this. We just need 41 more loads of wool. Um, which isn't going to be long at all. This distillery is not doing very well, but I'm not going to sell it because there's no point because it's still making a profit. Wow. The amount of meat and grain and industry profit is just... Wow. Uh, 46 loads of wool. And that's obviously going down. They're annoyed with me, even though we made three and a half million in a prosperity. Okay, we only need, we need forty, and we've got six years left. And just, just a. Sh there is just a shitload of wolves flying around. The problem is, is it's becoming incredibly unprofitable. In fact, it's actually now cheaper or more expensive than Buenos. So, let's just get a load of trains like this.
There we go. And we've got this. So, we're not really going to use it, but we could. Because it, it's actually a really good train. It's cheap to buy, it's cheap to maintain. It's not massively fast, it's not great on the hills. But there are no hills. Um, but for freight, it's alright. But it's too little too late. Like, we don't need it. We're done. We've got a lot of irrelevant trains that we could just get rid of, but I've said that many times in this scenario. We're not going to get rid of them, because literally no point. What are they waiting for? It's just a shit. It's just a shitload of train pileup. In fact, what I'm going to do is actually just increase the priority in these trains. No more waiting around. On that one. Twenty two loads left. Well, that's a funny looking train. Hey, that's actually really good. Average, average, average acceptable. It's cheaper to buy, more expensive to maintain. It's faster when pulling, or just faster in general. Doesn't have as good fuel economy or acceleration. But it's actually really good. I'm going to just do a mass upgrade. And then once all these trains get to Buenos, then we'll have done it. Damn, did the wrong f fucking thing. Hey, actually, that kind of works. I mean, it's irrelevant now because we won the scenario, but why did I not do that earlier? Take a massive shortcut. And hey, we're making so much money, who cares? reason we're building iron bridges, don't know why. And we are basically done, I believe. Just as soon as these slow coach trains get there. Damn it. That's what I'm meant to do. That's what I'm meant to do, obviously. Okay, 11 left, but we're basically done. So I may as well just watch Buenos Aires.
And very quickly, we're gonna... Well, very soon. How the hell do we make minus seven million? That year, what? Miscellaneous... Co oh. It's because we upgraded all our trains. Yeah, that cost about s that cost a lot. In fact, actually, how much did that cost? Just out of interest. It only cost seven million. So I don't know what track. Maybe I don't know. There you go. I don't know what that miscellaneous cost of minus 10 million was, but... Um, yeah, so that wasn't massively difficult. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Gold, you are our most pr impressive tycoon, Hefe. Argentina sings your praise. Um, yeah, that was Argentina on hard. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, the next one in this playlist is Roads Unfinished, which, as I said, is East Africa, so it's Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Sudan, uh, Belgian Congo, which is now Democratic Republic of Congo, uh, etc. That area. Um, so, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm going to save the game, actually. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Leave a like. Remember to share, subscribe, comment uh, if you've got anything to say. And see you next time, folks. Take care. Goodbye.